Good morning. I'm Stephanie Levy, and I'm very pleased to be with you this morning for the first alumni breakfast. I came to Northeastern in 2009 to be the first coordinator of the Student Center for Science Engagement, which is a federally funded initiative to offer students at Northeastern support, resources, and opportunities in science, technology, engineering, and math. Through the work of the center in collaboration with the university's six science departments, students have gone on to get terrific jobs, PhD opportunities, medical school appointments, and other terrific opportunities that have secured their future. I've been incredibly grateful to be a part of the university, and I'm still a part of the university, both as adjunct faculty and a donor to the university. It's been a real pleasure to be part of this, and I want to welcome you and invite you to join me in being a donor and supporter of the university today. During my time at Northeastern, I was incredibly moved by the terrific students that I encountered. One of them was a student who went on to get his PhD, and when I first met him, he had never been on a plane before. The first time he traveled on an airplane was to go to a conference where he presented his research that was being done with Tanya Kofer in the math department and realized what a place he had in science and math. The moment that always really made me feel like I had something to offer and that this was the right place for me is when I could see the expression on their face change so that they recognized that they deserved it and they, they belonged in science and math just as anyone did. And once that moment of recognition occurred, that's the moment that really makes you feel committed to your students and know that you have a difference to make. And that's part of what makes the university so special. There's such a diverse student body here. There's so many first generation students here. We have so many students with disabilities and special needs. There's so much opportunity to support, to care, and to really elevate other people, which is, in my view, the best thing you can do with your life. The other part of what made it so special was the people that I got to work with. I was able to work with really committed advisors, support staff, the faculty were tremendous, the administration was amazing. I felt so supported in my role and so able to make the differences that I had hoped to make. And that's just a small part of why this is such a special place to me. The Student Center for Science Engagement is a really unique place on campus because of all the services that it offers. And the vision for it was that it would be a home for students on campus to get tutoring, to get workshops, um, to have a, home, a space on what is a commuter campus. And the research program that so many faculty participate in got started through the, the university, and I think that's really a wonderful model for how research can work. Um, it led to a variety of publications and a variety of conference awards. Students just really became so confident by participating in that, the research and finding mentorship with the faculty. It was a beautiful thing to watch. In terms of other ways that the center is um, a model for leadership on campus, I think really cultivating that unique sense that the students who come in the doors, whether once or whether every single day for several years, are home, that they have a sense of home, and that students are lovingly challenged in that space. The advisors in the center provide holistic, intrusive advising to make sure that the students are doing well, not just academically, but holistically really looking at all the different factors that affect our students and getting a sense of how we can help them. If they need help with financial aid, can we reach out and build a bridge so that we can support our students that way? So one of the critical issues facing the world today is a lack of trained workforce to fill jobs in STEM fields. And STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. And in my view and the view of many other people, one of the major issues is a lack of diversity in STEM fields. And for me, diversity, um, of course, means you know, a lack of underrepresented individuals from traditionally underrepresented ethnicities, but it also means first-generation students, which I was one, um, individuals with disabilities. There's such a broad array of people in the world who aren't necessarily um, overtly represented in STEM. And it's one of the things that I think makes Northeastern really beautiful is that we do have such a diverse student population. There is such an opportunity to feed the pipeline with brilliant minds from diverse backgrounds so we get all those different perspectives. Making the donation really does ensure that the students of this campus are interested in pursuing science and, and math and technology on campus and 
continuing on for employment opportunities that will help support our global economy and solve so many of the problems that are science driven in the world today. What we've really empowered students to do is to feel that they have a sense of agency in their own lives. So whether or not students decide to pursue science, as long as they're pursuing what their dream is, I think we've been a success. My pride extends to almost mother-like uh, dimensions, <laughs> as any of my students can tell you. Um, I feel so grateful for all the wonderful things that, that they're doing. On a personal note, I feel like I've just been able to develop a family here at Northeastern through the staff, through the faculty, and certainly the students that I've been able to interact with. So I'm, I'm always just jumping up and down delighted when I hear from a student, and I would happily let any of them operate on me, which is a pretty big endorsement. It's a pleasure to have the opportunity to support Northeastern Illinois University, support the students, support the faculty, and to be part of this community. And I'm so grateful that I'm here virtually with you. If I were here in person, I'd love to shake everyone's hand. But to thank you for joining me in that effort and supporting this wonderful place. I hope to meet all of you when I'm here in person. But for now, um, thank you so much for your dedication, for being here today, and enjoy your day.